up guys welcome back to the channel hope you guys are doing well the previous event pass has ended and the new one started called treasure seeker and the old brawl ended as well the ripper brawl and now we got steel troopers and in this video we're gonna be checking out both events first we're gonna check out the new event pass i already covered it in one of my videos but we'll quickly go over it this time we have the trombone and the miller i believe so you get two trombones true millers and the end price is a starfall auto cannon if we look at the events pass crafting table we got a bunch of different interesting weapons the first one is the mg14 arbiter now keep in mind in the next major update hit scan weapons will get changed including the arbiter and this one has a fusion for more durability more damage and extra range of fire in the future it will get a fusion for extra projectile speed so before you get the arbiter you know keep that in mind we also have the destructor for more durability a faster reload and extra range which is pretty good this is basically the god fusion we have the care of this for more durability and more melee damage pretty good we have the bc-17 tsunami for less mass a faster reload time and extra projectile speed another really good fusion we have the hurricane missiles for more durability a faster reload and a faster rocket turn speed also a really good god fusion we have the draco for more durability more damage and extra range of fire pretty good as well we have the pulsers for more durability a faster reload and extra projectile speed all of these are really good fusions our upgrades as people call it now the cohort cabin as well less mass a faster top speed and a higher mass limit also god fusion really good fusion personally i like this one but you can also go for the one with more durability because 10 percent more cabin durability is quite a lot if you make a beefy brick the best example i can give you is for example my leviathan my durability is 11,687 because i have a griffin cabin here for more durability but if i use a griffin cabin that has no durability like for example resistance my durability drops down to 10,624 because this cabin has an upgrade for more resistance which I'm not really a big fan of anymore. By the way, Battle for Uranium is also active right now, but I haven't been able to play because my ISP was having issues the last four days. And there's only one big ISP in my country, so if they're out, I'm out. In the events pass crafting table, you also got the AC-72 Whirlwind for more durability, more damage, and extra projectile speed. Also very good. You can also go for the extra rate of fire instead of projectile speed. Both are pretty good. You got the Pyre Rocket Launcher for more durability, a faster reload, and a faster rocket turn speed. Also a good god fusion. We also have the Prometheus 5 over here with more durability, a faster projectile charge time, and extra projectile speed. Another really good god fusion. We got the Lacerator melee weapon here for more durability and more melee damage we got the bastion cabin as well for more durability a higher top speed and a higher mass limit the quantum cabin for more durability a higher top speed and a higher mass limit both fusions for both cabins really good by the way we got the buggy wheel for more durability and a reduced power penalty but i only see the steering wheel i don't see the non-steering wheel that's weird we got the icarus 7s here for less mass and a reduction in power penalty by the way the icarus 7s feel a lot better now than they did before since they reduced the ride height the wobble is still there but it's not as bad as before so the icarus 7s are actually pretty good now you just have to keep in mind that the tonnage and the durability on these is a little bit lower but you do get a higher top speed and in terms of this fusion i tested this out years ago the difference between the power penalty reduction and the acceleration efficiency and the acceleration efficiency is a little bit better just slightly just just a tidbit better but i don't think you're really gonna notice it in matches and the durability fusion is also nice but personally i went with less mess just to make my overall build a little bit lighter you also have the patrol roller for more durability and a reduced power penalty and the tormentor for more durability and a faster reload time i have four of these but they nerf these so now if you use more of these the efficiency is reduced by a lot which kind of sucks the upgraded starfall has more durability more damage and a faster rate of fire that's gonna sound quite nice you can also craft a normal starfall which will cost an upgraded trombone and an upgraded miller the upgraded trombone has less mass heating parts from explosion increased by 25 percent and a faster projectile speed i think the other upgrade besides projectile speed is rocket turn time and i prefer that and then you have the miller minigun for more durability more damage and a faster projectile speed the other upgrade you can get for the miller or projectile speed spread and barrel spool up time got it by now you guys know that the hit scan is gonna get removed from most of the weapons except for the reaper and the miller and i think miniguns are gonna feel something like this because this is not a hit scan it has some travel time to it 
it's not the worst thing in the world, but if you have a high ping, it is a little bit annoying. And now we're going to check out the difference between a normal one and this one has a faster projectile speed. I can barely see the difference. <laughs> I can barely see the difference, man. Yeah, I, I can barely see the difference. Keep in mind, keep in mind, this is the garage with a negative one millisecond ping. So everything feels perfect. But trust me, when you go in PvP, you actually do start to feel the delay. So that's pretty much it for the event pass. I'll probably stream, not this weekend, uh, maybe in two weeks to give away some event pass codes. And I also got a rough sketch of what my new logo is going to look like. You guys have been asking me for a logo for quite some time. I am getting it updated. So once it's finished, I'll contact the devs, see what they can do for me. And then I'll let you guys know how to get one. For the Steel Troopers Brawl, you got some pretty cool rewards as well each day after you complete the daily mission. First reward is a box with some stickers. Second reward is a banner logo. Pretty cool. No spiders. For the third reward, you get some engineers badges. The fourth reward is another container with decor items, paints, and yeah, just decor items and paints. Your fifth reward is a pretty cool one. It's a banner customization. Very nice. The sixth reward is just some resources. And the seventh reward is a pretty cool spider legs hologram. Very nice. Now, I've already done one match of Steel Troopers. It's pretty fun. As you can see, it takes around 10 minutes. Maybe you can do it faster and you get a pretty good amount of tricky treats. This is with premium, by the way. If you don't have premium, you do get less. But because I have a premium subscription, I get 50% more resources from every match. Brother. All right, we are on a special version of the map Blood Rocks. And you got three different builds. One with the Ensign, Retcher, Avalanche. No, I didn't get to pick and a Devourer minigun. We do have four players because I've played this with three people and it becomes a lot harder. Luckily, we did get the one with the Devourer. You also have like a force field if you press like a, it's an Aegis shield that pushes the small critters away. And I've learned a couple of things after playing for a bit. You cannot switch builds if you die, which is unfortunate. If everybody dies at the same time, you cannot respawn, you will lose the match. And if you die, but one person survives, you can still respawn. Or they can go over your carcass, which is a blue flare, and they can uh, repair you. So those are the things I've learned. <laughs> because uh, it looks easy, it is kind of technically easy, but if you mess up and you play like an idiot, you are going to fail, which is kind of unfortunate. These little spider drones are not too difficult, but, you know... Everything in numbers is a little bit annoying because they have sparks and block change. It does kind of suck. Over here, we need to protect this thing. This thing are magic. Activate the scanner. And what else? Yeah, that's pretty much it. You have a final boss in the end, which is not the. It's, it's not as bad as Lloyd, but still pretty challenging. And uh, funny story. Years ago, I would say seven years ago, when you could still communicate with the devs through forums, you know. Uh, that, that, those were some good times. I was asking for a game mode like this or something like, you know, something like a horde from Gears of Wars where you could, you know, defend yourself against organic life forms. Um, it's not that I like to see blow people up or not people, but, you know, um, you know, stuff with fluids. <laughs> it's a little bit more exciting for me than to shoot cards because back in the day, I did not have as much and I was constantly grinding raids every day, like doing raids non-stop. And it was really boring, you know, really uh, not really my thing. And that's why I also stopped doing raids. I've been playing for so many years and doing raids just, you know, you know, it gets boring. And these are the bigger spiders, by the way. They have a skinner and I think a spark. But anyways, I asked for a feature like this a while back and I'm happy they, uh, they added it. Because it is kind of fun to, to shoot those little spiders. I do wish... I had different weapons. I think the Wretched would be awesome. But at the final stage, the Devourers is a, are a little bit better, in my opinion. Over here, the Wretched would be perfect. Let's push everybody away. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. It's uh, not a difficult game mode. And people will get better the more they play it. As you saw, we finished the mission in around 10 minutes. But I do often see a lot of people just, you know... You know, just chilling and shooting at spiders, which is fine. But if you want to do it fast, just, you know, keep moving. Those little spiders can't do too much. As you guys saw, they just die. 
And then you ram your legs too hard. Now the trick with this thing over here is there is a glowing thing inside. Okay, over here, they're pretty good, right? There we go. There is a glowing thing inside. So once you shoot that, the whole structure blows up. Oh, I think I lost my legs. That's unfortunate. So once you shoot enough of the structural part or the explosives, you will see a glowing, um, I don't know what it is, a glowing object inside. Yeah, using one leg is no bueno. Oh, I think it's already destroyed. Beautiful. This guy just yanked me. Get out of here. Yep, even in this game mode, the swarms are awful. Yeah. Oh no, everybody died! No, come on. Oh no. See what I mean? It's not difficult, but these little... Or not, not little. Those are bigger spiders. I'm gonna do it again, and I'm gonna start from that point. Alright, I think this is where I left off. <laughs> uh, these players seem to be a, a lot better. They're always on point. Oh my god, this guy grabbed me again. That is a spider build with the marsh cabin. And I'm not sure what kind of weapons it has, but it does kill you once it ramps you. I think it's just a special effect that it kills you upon uh, contact. Or something like that. It's really fast too. Yeah, no weapons. It's just whenever... Oh. It's like... He has... All of his parts has ram damage or something like that. And since he's quick... Yeah, I'm just gonna SD right now since it's while it's safe. Got two allies down though. Yeah, so since he's quick and everything has ram damage on his build, he basically insta destroys something when he touches you. We got six seconds left. See, as long as you have people alive, you can't still respawn. There you go, beautiful. These guys seem to do this mission pretty quick. So let's see how fast we can do this. Uh, this guy's AFK, unfortunately. Yeah, that's really unfortunate. I believe the next section is a bridge or a gate. Uh, yeah, dude, there's only one JB Rider, man. Nobody can really copy your name. But uh, yeah, this section of the bridge. Basically, you want to shoot the red I Oh my god. You want to shoot... Oh my god. You want to shoot the red part of the gate, and that it will destroy it a lot quicker. Uh, those things over there, yep. Yeah. yeah, those red glowy things. Um, Jesus Christ. That's a lot of, that's a lot of spiders. Yeah, basically, just keep, keep shooting the, the, the gate till it breaks. Because sitting here and defending is no bueno. There we go. Yeah, just just go through. You got a car attack and just keep moving. And now for the final boss. Now this, when you see it, this is what I call a Leviathan. Look at that. Not the, the puny cars that we fight. Now over here, I wish I had the Devourer because it's really good against this thing. But now we have to go a little bit closer. We need to destroy the generators and then the shield will come off and then you can shoot the red glowy uh, eye. Basically, you shoot these red parts and then once the, the spider glows like that, it becomes basically invulnerable and you would need to jaw dodge his um, artillery shots, which are extremely devastating, so don't get hit by them. Yeah, even if you shoot now, nothing happens. Even if you shoot the red things, yeah, nothing happens. Just wait until he cools down. And avoid the uh, the things with your tangu legs. One of the builds does not have... Oh man, I didn't dodge that direction. One of the builds does not have tangu leg. That's the flamingo leg. I believe it's the, the one with the avalanche. So keep that in mind. We can shoot it again a little bit. Uh, I wonder if I should... Yeah, let's just SD now while it's safe. My team is still alive. Usually your team dies when it's shooting the artillery, so make sure to be, you know be careful, I would say. Uh, five, four, three, two, one. One teammate is dead. Alright, beautiful. And as you guys can see, oh two teammates are down. As you can see, we cannot um we cannot select a different build when you die, which is 
Oh my god. He got one of my wretchers. God damn it. Yeah, which is really unfortunate. Uh, teammates are back up. Alright, cool. See, the wretcher eh, kind of sucks. I mean, you can't shoot. But with the devourer, do you deal a lot more damage from at range. Uh, I'm already a nugget. So if you're in a team, make sure to have one wretcher at least. And some devourer builds. The avalanche build, I didn't really like that much. That unfortunate. His shield is destroyed now, so basically we can blast his top. And I hope these guys survive. We've got eight seconds left. Hey, 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 I just spawned. Oh, I just spawned. Alright, there we go. We got four minutes left. I wonder if he's gonna keep dropping already. Oh no, stop. So with the devourers, you can basically melt this top part really, really quick. But I'm not sure what those lasers are, to be honest. I think if you walk in it, you die. And uh, the robot also has a Morta. There we go, I think he's dead. Yeah, and it's gonna do a horde. And now you need to extract. Oh, those big things are annoying, though. There we go, my team spawned. Alright, I'm just gonna run away. Oh, they have freaking Jub Jobs, Jabokus. I'm just gonna walk backwards because these things usually end up killing me. That's a lot of them though. I need to see where the extraction is, but oh god, yeah, it's over here. Oh god, I'm dead. Oh no, please, 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 guys, respawn, respawn. Okay, one of them respawned. Okay, both respawn. All right, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, the, these spiders are annoying, and that's where you extract. Oh, the carrier explodes in 20 seconds. We already have one on the extraction, which is good, but I don't think we're going to make it. I don't think we can make it in 10 seconds. Yeah, at least we'll win, as long as we have one guy over there. So I would say if the guy is, his shield is gone, make sure to have one guy at the extraction zone. Makes things a lot easier. See, and now we have a win. See, that guy's on the extraction. So I hope you guys, <laughs> I hope you guys could follow my tips. <laughs> it's a little bit weird, but um, you, you'll get the hang of it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you found it informative. If you did, I hope I earned a like and a subscription to the channel. If you guys want to see more, you can click on one of these two videos over here, and I'll see you there in a minute. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Peace.